Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a uh, kind of a different video. I don't know if I've ever done one of these before. Um, if I have, I'll try and find it, but I don't think I've ever done this before. But uh, we're doing a full face of underrated makeup products. So these are products that I never hear anyone talk about and I love them dearly. I use them pretty regularly. A lot of these, you know, you've seen me use multiple times, um, but I just thought I would consolidate them and put them in a video and just show some love to maybe some brands and not even just brands, because you may have heard of the brands, but just the specific products within the brands. Maybe you've never heard of or, you, or you've overlooked in the store or online. Um, so these are definitely worth checking out. They're incredible. They definitely have my stamp of approval. And I just kind of came up with this just kind of easy, good old bronzy look. Nothing too crazy here. Um, wanted to do something a little bit more neutral today, but I'm gonna be using all the products on my face today. So without further ado, make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack, grab a glass of wine, whatever you need in this moment to relax, just kind of take some time, whether it's in the beginning of your day, the middle of your day, or the end of your day, just take some time the next 20 minutes to just kind of get away from everything and have a little bit of peace. So cheers and let's get into it. All right guys, I hope y'all are having a great day so far. And if you're not having that great of a day, I hope that this makes it a little bit better. So we're just gonna hop right in. I've got quite a few makeup goodies. And if you are able to, maybe grab some makeup and you, we can do a little get ready with me and you can put your makeup on while I do some makeup as well. So I think I'm gonna do, hmm, I think I'm gonna do foundation first today instead of concealer. Uh, so the foundation that I pulled is the Vapor Soft Focus Foundation. Now, I don't have a foundation that I feel like no one talks about, but I feel like of all the foundations that I own, between this one and the Ara Perez Oat Milk Foundation, I think those two foundations are really my, I feel like I hear the least about. So I decided to go for this one because I haven't used this one in a while. And this is actually one of my favorite cold weather foundations because it's very very dewy it's very moisturizing and it has almost this oily kind of texture to it um, but it's a beautiful foundation it wears very well it looks amazing on the skin so I'm using the shade 120 s and I think I'm just going to pump this into my hand I'm going to start with one pump I'm going to use a sponge with this um, yeah this foundation is very very dewy so if you have dry skin or you like a very luminous, dewy foundation, then I think you will love this. If you have very oily skin, um, I'm not so sure if you would love this. I remember the first time I tried it, I was like, whoa, baby. This feels like a tinted oil. Um, but that's why I prefer it kind of in these colder months because I feel like it just looks so beautiful um, when my skin kind of soaks up a little bit of that shine, but as you can see, just really, really pretty foundation. And this is just one that I forget about. I don't know what it is. It's a lovely foundation. It's definitely very different from other foundations that I own, but for some weird reason, I tend to forget about this one. So I need to put this in the front of my foundation so that I don't forget about it. And then for concealer, I have never heard anyone talk about this concealer before. This is the Illuminare, I don't know how you pronounce this, but they're Concealing Mineral Foundation. You can use it as a concealer, as a foundation. I like using it as both. If I use it as a foundation, I'll mix it in with moisturizer. Um, but as a concealer, it's beautiful. So I think I'm going to apply this first with a brush. I'm going to apply some to my hand. And then I'm going to take this Alima Pure Concealer Brush and just apply this where I need it. And I'm using the shade Fair. And I know I say this every time I use it, but the shades do run dark. So I think Fair is the lightest shade or the second to lightest shade. And it is, it's quite dark. So just a warning. 
But yeah, just this brand as a whole, I never hear anyone talk about them. They do make other products. Um, they have blushes and eyeshadows. And then they have another foundation that I think is more... I think they have like a moisturizing foundation and they might even have another foundation. But yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed this product. I find that it's really great for sensitive skin. Um, the ingredients are really nice and it is mineral based. And it's just lovely because it's so versatile. You can make this full coverage, sheer coverage. So really great product. Right, so this next product is one that I talk about nonstop, all the time, love it, use it all the time, but I feel like I'm the only one who ever talks about this product, so that's why I'm going to include it today. This is not new, like, this is something that I talk about all the time, but yeah, I feel like I'm the only one. So this is the Cover FX Contour Kit. It's one of my holy grails, just like ride or die products. I love this. It's very, very versatile, but I just feel like I am one of the few people that actually talks about this product. Um, so you get two kind of bronzer contour shades. You get a matte highlighting shade and then a matte shimmery shade, which you can see I've hit pan on two of these already. I'm just obsessed with this palette. So uh, I'm using N medium today. And I think I'm going to take the deepest shade, which is N80. I'm just going to use that same concealer brush and apply it first with the brush, and then I'll go in with the sponge and blend it out. But these are phenomenal. And for a second there, I thought they were discontinuing this, but they're not. So you can still get this. This is definitely one of the products that they've had for a really long time. And it's so, so stinking good. All right, so I'm just gonna take my foundation, my uh, sponge, and just blend it out. So easy. And if I'm not mistaken, the formula of these creams is the same formula of their cream foundation. And there's my dog. All right, and then I'm gonna clean off my little brush. And I'm going to take the lightest shade, which is very, very light. This is N20. And I'm going to use that to kind of clean up underneath. I'm just kind of in a glam mood today. I don't know. So I'm going to go a little bit more full coverage today. And then blend her out. Today, I'm just doing straight espresso. It's just one of those days. Oh, so good. All right, and then one last kind of creamy product is uh, are these Manasi products. I think just as a whole, Manasi 7 is not really talked about. I feel like they're getting a little bit more uh, popular, but um, I'm absolutely obsessed with this brand. It is a Swedish brand, and it's quite expensive. Um, so I can kind of see how maybe people would be hesitant to buy their products. But I am absolutely obsessed with their bronze lighter. Uh, this is in the shade Rosite. I don't know if they have other shades, but this is gorgeous. So I actually wanted to apply this underneath my bronzer or underneath my foundation, but I totally forgot. So we're just going to apply it now. It's all right. Um, but this is absolutely stunning. It's on me. It's like a bronzer highlight blush kind of thing. I don't really know how to describe it, but it just adds a nice flush, a nice bit of color to the skin. And just depending on your skin tone, you can use it as a bronzer, a highlighter. Um, so it's a really nice versatile product. And I've just honestly really enjoyed this brand. Really like their products. I love their packaging. They're unique. So I'm just going to take this on a brush and just go kind of where I would apply blush. Give a little bit more glow. So beautiful. You can see that really pretty glow. Take a little bit on my forehead because why not? Yeah, this product has definitely become a top drawer staple. I love it so much. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of the Lila B B Captivating Highlighter. So if you ever tried this, it's very similar in 
kind of the idea where it's like a highlighter but it's got a nice richness a nice bit of color to it so again it make a great highlighter for deeper complexions lighter complexions you can use it as a bronzer blush um, so yeah very very similar to that one all right, so for powder, this is one I've never heard anyone talk about. Um, and I did not have high hopes for this product, but when I tried it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. However, the packaging is quite terrible. Uh, so this is the Mineral Fusion Mineral SPF. Looks like this, comes with a little brush applicator, very much like a lot of these powder SPFs do. And I do not like the brush. The brush is terrible, it's scratchy, and it just does not apply the product very well. So what I do is I take the little cap off the butt end, and that is how I get the powder. Honestly, I need to just decant this into a different container because, yeah, this is very messy. But I love this powder. Um, I'd only, I think it only comes in one shade and it does have a bit of tint to it. So I don't know how this would work on fair skin tones. I feel like the color is pretty dark. It's still, in my opinion, a translucent powder, but it does have that bit of tint to it. So for fair skin tones, I don't know how this would work. But yeah, really difficult to get out of the packaging. But I'm gonna go and set my under eye with this as well as the rest of my face. And I don't know, there's something really nice about this powder. Um, I like that it has the added SPF coverage. So if you just need some additional SPF coverage, um, you can, you know, set your sunscreen down with this. Kind of take away some shine if you're oily or if you just need a way to reapply your SPF throughout the day. Having it in powder form makes it a lot easier, but really nice powder. All right, so for highlighter... Um, another product that I don't hear a lot of people talk about are these highlighters from Saint Cosmetics. So this is their Radiant Finish Highlighting Powder. I have the shade Lunar Glow, and this is so incredibly beautiful because although it is a powder formula, it doesn't look like powder at all on the skin. It almost looks wet on the skin, but it's not too intense. It's very, very natural, very subtle looking. It honestly just looks like you've applied just a little bit of a balm to the tops of your cheeks. It is so gorgeous. And again, I just don't know why no one talks about these. Now this is a definitely a more pricey product, so that could be one of the reasons, but it's stunning. Like, oh, looks so beautiful, looks very ethereal. Almost like you have one of those like soft lights on you and it just makes everything just look glowy and beautiful. I also want to mention one other highlight um, that is more affordable and this is the Undone Beauty Highlighting Palette. It used to be called the Nonzer. I don't know if it's still called that, but this is absolutely gorgeous. You can get Undone Beauty off of Amazon and at Target. It's definitely a more affordable option for highlighter and these two shades right here are just so beautiful you will look like a little dewy dumpling if you apply these to your face um, I actually really enjoy this purple highlighter as well um, so you get a ton of product beautiful formula and undone beauty as a whole is just a really awesome brand I don't use a lot of their or I don't use any of their cream products because they're coconut based but powder products are fantastic and then going with undone beauty i also have their bronzer which i love and i'm going to use today uh, so with this palette you get two bronzers and two highlighters the highlighters are beautiful as well same formula as that other highlight palette um, and these bronzers are super creamy very buttery but extremely pigmented so you have to be really really careful with these bronzers so I'm just gonna take like a tiny, tiny bit, kind of get the excess off in the cap. Just apply a little bit of this on top. And you can mix all of them together and create a shimmery bronzer if you wanted to. But yeah, the powder products from Undone Beauty are gorgeous. All right, and then for blush, of course, my favorite Mineral Fusion blush in the shade Creation. This is one of the first clean beauty products that I ever tried, and it has been a blush that I have loved ever since. Again, 
No one talks about these. Uh, the packaging is like not flashy. It's very like boring plastic packaging. You would never think that a blush like this would be so amazing, but it really, really is. And this shade Creation is my favorite. This particular shade is matte, but I believe they do have some shimmery shades as well. So, oh, it's just so perfect. It's nice and compact for your makeup bag. And although it looks very small, I've had this for several years, like it's beyond expired. Let's see. Oh yeah, 12 months. Yeah, beyond expired. I use this consistently for about a year and I still like it. I don't even see a dent. It's kind of crazy. All right, so I am going to go ahead and do my brows off camera. I don't really have a brow product. Uh, I guess the PYT brow pencil maybe. I don't see a lot of people talk about that, but... This brows are boring, so I'm just gonna do my brows off camera, and then when we get back, we will do the eyes. All right, so for the eyes, the eyeshadow palette that came to mind immediately was the Pacifica Animal Magic Palette. Now, I have raved about this, again, since I purchased this, but I just never hear anyone talk about it. It is amazing, like if you just need an all-in-one palette for natural everyday looks, glam looks, colorful looks. This is going to be the palette for you. You have a variety of different textures in here and it's so so good and it's on the more affordable side. And then I also pulled some kind of creamy products. Um, I don't know if I'll necessarily use all of them but I wanted to mention them. So the first is this Bare Minerals Gen Nude primer and shadow oh my gosh these are absolutely incredible so i basically use it like a like a cream shadow um it's marketed as like a primer shadow type of thing but i just love using it all over the lid as just a one and done eyeshadow um the shade range is very much attuned to like skin tones so there's not going to be any um, real colors. They're very, very neutral shades. They almost look like concealers when you're looking at them. Um, but I think that's great. I think this is a great product for just those of you who like a very easy, effortless, just kind of no makeup makeup eye look. You can just swipe this on, blend it out with your finger, add a little mascara, and you're out the door. Your eyes are just kind of given a little bit of a wash of color so you don't see all the veining. And it's just really, really simple. It's not going to crease. So these are fantastic. And then also these Julep Cream to Powder Eyeshadow Sticks. Um, these are fantastic. Um, they remind me in terms of just kind of the look of the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. I've never tried those. So I can't speak to if they actually uh, are very similar to those. But... Um, you know, they're just like a creamy shadow that dries down matte, um, definitely sets down. So I have the shade Stone and what is this other one called? Oh, goodness. Oh, Orchid Shimmer, which is this gorgeous kind of purple color. I'm going to start with the Bare Minerals Eye Primer, and I have it in the shade Basic, which is about a shade darker than my skin tone and almost just is like a contour shade on me. And I have actually used this as a cream contour, and it works amazing. And then I'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush and just blend that all over the eye. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that on my lower lash line as well. All right, and then I'm going to take one of these Julep pencils. I'm going to take the shade Stone. And I'm just going to work this right along my lash line all the way across. I'm going to take that same fluffy brush, just buff that out. I'm also going to take a little bit of stone on my lower lash line, just really up close right in the lashes. Alright, so now I'm going to go in to the palette. I'm going to take the shade Stag right here. I'm just going to use that to blend out the outer edge. Also going to take a little bit of stag along the lower lash line. All right, I'm going to take the shade Mouse. A really small brush. I'm just going to push that into my lash line, just right here on the outer edge. And just kind of buff that upwards. 
into the outer corner just to give the eyes a little bit more depth right here. And I'm also going to take that on my lower lash line. Alright, I'm going to dip into the shade Kitty, which is definitely my favorite shade in the palette. It looks quite pink, but honestly it just kind of comes off as like a gold champagne shade. And I'm just going to press this all over the lid. Alright, and then final step, I'm going to take White Raven. Yeah. Just pop that right in the inner corner. And then I don't think I've ever tried this in the waterline, but I'm going to run this in my waterline and see what happens. I don't know if it'll stick. Oh yeah, works. Alright, so for mascara, I don't know if I necessarily have a mascara that no one talks about. I feel like one that maybe you wouldn't know that much about is Bare Minerals Lash Topia. I don't know, do people talk about this mascara? I am absolutely obsessed with it. This is actually a little travel size. I need to get the full size. Um, but this is amazing. It's got this amazing full wand and it's really great if you like really fluffy, voluminous lashes. So again, maybe, maybe everyone talks about this. I don't hear anyone talk about it, but it's one of my favorites. Alright, so while my mascara is drying, my mascara is drying, I'm going to do my lip. So this lipstick, I've never heard anyone talk about it, honestly. I didn't even know about the brand until she reached out to me. Um, and this was in my yearly favorites, so uh, y'all probably already know what it is. But it is the PDL Lipstick in the shade Naked. Um, it is a makeup brand created by Patricia De Leon, who is a makeup artist. And... I am absolutely obsessed with this lipstick. The color of it is so perfect. The formula is so spot on. And again, no one talks about it, um, which I understand because I didn't even know about the brand. But I am telling y'all now, these are good. Um, I think they retail for around $18, so not too shabby. And the colors are just gorgeous. So again, Naked is my favorite color. It's just that perfect warm nudie brown that I have just been searching for for so long and I love it. Alright and then for lip liner this is again a lip liner that I've talked about for years and no one else talks about them but I will continue to use them and talk about them because I just love the formula of these so much. They're the Mineral Fusion Lip Liners. My favorite shade is Graceful which is in my makeup bag somewhere. I'm not going to dig for it but I also love the shade Elegant. Graceful is definitely more of a true nude whereas Elegant is more of a mauve nude. Um, they're both very very similar. Graceful is definitely my favorite but I'm going to use Elegant today. Alright guys, so that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this kind of broadened your makeup horizons into some brands that maybe you'd never heard of. Um, Y'all know, well, if you've been with me for a while, you know how picky I am about products. I am very specific about how I like my makeup products, so um, these definitely all have my stamp of approval. So I'll have links to everything down below if you want to check them out or if you just want more information. But um, yeah, these are great. I don't know why no one talking about them, but that's okay because I enjoy them anyway. Um, but thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. Broken roses.